Hello my friends, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly and efficiently farm Ledexes as quick as possible, as well as ophthalmoscopes. Now I know a lot of people are struggling trying to find these things. You need them for your therapist quest. You need them for that late game quest where you've got to give in, what is it, five Ledexes, five ophthalmoscopes, 20 piles of meds, oh, and five defibrillators as well. I can show you guys where defibrillators spawn too. So if you guys are target farming these items, the easiest way that I did it and the easiest way that I found to do it was you just have to be fast. You just got to sprint through and be efficient with your looting and only check rooms that can actually spawn these items. So I'm going to show you guys every room that can actually spawn lead X's and a couple of rooms that are not even locked behind doors that you can check. You can find ophthalmoscopes and other rare items and stuff like that while you are grinding out these items. So there are a couple of things that you guys are going to need. Preferably a very light kit, maybe some kind of like class 4 armor. You could probably just run like a strand hog or an MMAC, some little SMG, maybe like a little 5.7 or something like that if you feel confident with your pistols. But these things right here, the SJ6s are your best friend. You need to use SJ6s for this method to work. I currently have max strength and max endurance, but even if you don't have max strength and endurance and they're, you know, leveled up to maybe like even 25, 35, whatever, even below that, SJ6s will make a massive difference to how fast you can get to the resort and how quickly you can get to those rooms first before everybody else. So lads, we're going to jump straight into Shoreline. I'm going to show you guys the rooms that you guys need to hit. And then hopefully you guys will be able to go ahead and find your lead axes, your defibrillators and your ophthalmoscopes. Now, before we get into the raid, I just want to say one quick thing, okay? Why don't you just loot Ultramed, lads? I know tons of people that have looted Ultramed a million times. I've looted Ultramed a bunch of times myself. Never found a Ledex there this wipe. It has definitely been nerfed into the floor for Ledexes. And before little Timmy says, Oh, I only found three Ledexes and then five ophthalmoscopes and two defibrillators, you know, Ultramed, you know, okay? I don't care. That is a random lucky instance of that happening, okay? That is a random lucky instance of that happening, all right? Lighthouse also, the spawns for a lot of that stuff have been nerfed. I've definitely found Shoreline to be fairly cons fairly consistent when finding these items. And also labs. I mean, who wants to play labs? Nobody wants to play labs, okay? So lads, I'm going to show you guys Shoreline. Very quick little run that you guys can do. And also, one quick tip, do it at nighttime. A lot less players at nighttime. A lot less chance of running into people. And also, if you bring a decent little loadout with you, you can actually run into cultists uh, at nighttime a lot. And they can net you a lot of money. That is actually where I found my Violet keycard this wipe. So guys... We're going to get straight into Shoreline and I will show you guys the path that you guys need to take in order to achieve success. So here we are. We spawn by the tunnel. Guys, all you're going to want to do, run straight to the resort. I do this in pretty much every single one of my Shoreline raids. And as long as you guys don't stop, you don't, you know, investigate gunfire somewhere. You don't engage with scavs. You just run straight to the resort. This works almost every single time. It is very rare that I ever get killed going to the resort. The trick here is you gotta be fast as fuck, boy. You gotta go quick, okay? Another couple of things I wanna say real quick. A lot of people talk about, oh, when I get to the resort, it's impossible. There's always players there. Um, lads, with this method, you are going to oftentimes be the first person to your wing, okay? And the problem is, and the problem arises from people being greedy with loot, okay? They want to loot every single room while they're there. They want to take fights. They want to do this. They want to do that. This run is not about PvP. It's not about PvE. It's not about anything other than going straight to these couple of rooms, checking for Ledex spawns, checking for ophthalmoscopes, checking for defibrillators, and then leaving. You hear a player, you have a Ledex up your fucking ass, you have a defibrillator up your ass, you have an ophthalmoscope up your ass, something that you need for your quest, you leave immediately, okay? You do not hang around, you leave. Now, some of the rooms that I'm going to be skipping here, I know there's going to be comments. Oh, but if you loot this room, you can find Bitcoins. Oh, if you loot this room, there's X amount of weapon crates. Oh, if you loot this room, you can get lion statues, you can get meds, you can get blah, blah, blah. That is not what we're here for, and that is not the point of this video. This video is to hopefully help out anybody who is stuck looking for these items, and they're just having a really rough time with Shoreline right now. So... Those few tips that I gave you guys will help massively. Avoid PvP. If there's PvP in the other wings and you haven't checked all the rooms yet and you don't have a Ledex and you don't have an Ophthalmoscope or something that you need, you guys can go for it. But if you do have any of those items, you will be leaving immediately. All right. So all we're going to want to do, jump over this. We're going to head straight into the resort and then we're going to go straight upstairs. We're going to skip uh, the two offices downstairs. We're going to skip all of these rooms here. We're not even going to loot any of this. All we're going to be doing is hitting up three spots here, okay? 
First thing you're going to do, you're going to come straight up these stairs. You're going to take a left and you're going to come into this room, which is 311. Here on the floor, I found lead X's, ophthalmoscopes, defibrillators, and same with here on the floor as well. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to run straight down this hallway here, past the hole in the floor. Don't fall through it. We're going to hang a left and we're going to hit up 301. Now, 301 is probably the best room in all of Shoreline for all of these items. They can spawn right here. They can spawn on the floor. Come through here. Always check where this raven is, okay? You can get lead X's here, bitcoins here, ophthalmoscopes. You can get them on the table. You can get them on the chair. You can get them right here. People miss them under the newspaper here all the time. They can spawn right here. They can spawn on the bed here as well. So make sure when you come here, you thoroughly loot this room and you grab everything of value in here, okay? People have missed lead X's in that room so many times because they just kind of spawn in weird places sometimes and people just overlook them. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to come straight into 205, which has been the second best room for me this way for finding lead X's. I found so many lead X's in here. You want to check this chair, you want to check this table, check the floor, check the floor, check right here next to this med bag, and then come through here and check the table right there, okay? And I'm, while you're here, might as well check for the red keycard spawn right there, okay? So now that we've checked these spots, we're going to come straight over here, we're going to drop down, we're not slowing down, we're not stopping, we're not looting anything else, we're going to run straight into admin, okay? And then when we get to the stairs here, we're going to take a left, we're going to come down here, we're going to check right there to see if there's a Ledex spawn there or any other medical items. And then we're leaving. We're going straight to East Wing. Straight into East Wing. Now, I'm going to say something a little bit controversial here. Sanitar's room this wipe absolutely sucks. I don't think it's worth wasting your time looting it. If you have the key, go ahead and loot it. Uh, you might get lucky. But in the... Actually, I just replaced the room the key the other day. I have done 110 runs of this room, and I've only ever gotten a Ledex out of here once. But if you do want to find a Ledex, check the floor in here, check the floor in here, check the floor there. Check in the shower as well. Come out here, check the floor there, and check the floor there. Um, and also, uh, is it? I think it's right there next to this little red box thing. Uh, or is it right down here? Ledexes can spawn there too. But like, it's so rare that it's probably not even worth wasting your time. Uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to run straight upstairs here. We're going to check here on the washing machine for Ledexes and ophthalmoscopes. We're going to skip 226 for the moment. And we're going to check in here. 219 is the new god room. Right here and right here on the floor. I've gotten so many Ledexes, lion statues, bitcoins, ophthalmoscopes, defibrillators. All that kind of stuff spawns in here. It is absolutely insane. And then we're going to want to come in here. Open either 226 or the, uh, what's the other room? 222. Open up the door. We're going to check the floor right here. We're going to check right here. Check right here. Check the bed. And then inside here, you can check the table for graphics cards and stuff. But lead X's don't spawn in here. And then we're going to run out. We're going to have a quick look on the shelves here to see if there's any lead X's there. If not, you skip. And then we have basically one more stop here. All we're going to want to do is run up to the third floor. Right up here, skip 310 and go straight in here to 313. This is another room that spawns lead X's a decent amount of time. And if it's not right here or right here on the floor, there are no lead X's. So, lads, that is literally it. All you're going to do now, what I most commonly do if I spawn on this side, is I will run to 226. If I hear any players around and I have any of these items that I need up my ass, all we're going to do is we're going to yeet off the balcony. And then we're going to sprint straight to the extract, which is uh, over there, Road to Customs. Uh, you can also extract via Lighthouse here as well, if you want. But, I mean, it's whichever side you happen to be closer to. If you end up finding something in West Wing, you can sprint straight to Lighthouse uh, in order to get out. Just be careful because there might be players coming that way as well. So, lads, that is literally it. That is about as fast as you can run through Shoreline to target farm those items. The trick is do not engage in PvP and do not engage, especially even with scavs, if you have any of the items that you're looking for on you. Now, it's going to feel bad skipping all those rooms, but I'm telling you, in like a day of like doing these runs, you will definitely find a couple of lead X's, a couple of ophthalmoscopes, and a couple of defibrillators. You will also uh, be able to find, of course, loads of ophthalmoscopes on woods, as everybody constantly tells me, but you're going to need lead X's anyway, and you will make more money doing this super, super quick run than you ever will doing woods. 
And I also don't think defibrillators can spawn in woods either. Uh, fun little thing as well. You can actually craft defibrillators in your hideout. But if you don't have it leveled up, don't worry about it. You will find them commonly if you just do these runs. Lads, I don't know how long that took. Maybe show will edit in a little timer to show you guys how quickly I ran through there. I also ended up getting a bad spawn. You can do this way faster if you get God spawn or a spawn that is much closer to the resort. And then that's it. Just do this run over and over again and do it at nighttime. Do it at nighttime. The raids will be way more dead. Just bring a little flashlight on your gun or a super cheap set of NVGs. So lads, there you have it. I've been asked a million times, where do I farm all these items? I get asked it on stream all the time. I see it like in YouTube comments. I see it everywhere. TikTok comments, all that kind of stuff. Whenever I upload a video of me finding, you know, lead X's and stuff like that. Hopefully this guide will just simplify all of this for you. Uh, it's super cheap. The keys are not expensive and the loadouts are cheap that you can run for it as well. And it's quick. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what videos you would like to see in the future. And make sure to check the links down in the description for the Twitch, the Twitter, the Instagram, all that other stuff, the TikTok. It's all linked down below. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you on the next video. Peace out, my dudes.